Hey there! What are you guys up to today? I'm making bad river clam prawns. Good reef. I could use your kelp. Be sure to leave some of your favorite river clan puns in the sea of comments down below. And maybe you'll be featured in the next speed paint. Anywho, today is day one of Brambleberries week. And the scene that my sister Rachel is going to be drawing today is of Brambleberry's first challenge of being a medicine cat. So what happens is there's a terrible storm and the camp is flooding. And to make matters worse, Rainflower has started kidding. So Brambleberry has to get Rainflower to the safety of a tree and help this queen welcome her new kits into the world. It's a pretty crazy scene. I'll read it to you now. It's on pages 5 through 8 of Crooked Star's Promise. <laughs> Rainflower let out a low moan. Shellheart stiffened. Rainflower? The queen was crouching, her face twisted in pain. Rambleberry ducked down beside her and then lifted her head. The kids are coming, she announced. Uh, right now? Shellheart demanded. They won't wait for the storm to end, Rambleberry retorted. We must get her to somewhere safe. Uh, into the middle of the trees, Shellheart suggested. The water never reaches that far. That'll take too long. Rambleberry glanced up at the wide, low branch of an ancient oak that hung overhead. Do you think you can get her up there? Shellheart blinked. Uh, I will if I have to. He grabbed Rainflower's scruff and, half guiding, half dragging, propelled her up towards the thick trunk. Uh, up you go. Rainflower glanced upwards and groaned. She opened her mouth as if she was about to protest. Then her flanks convulsed and she shrunk into a spasm, looking small and wretched with her first licked down. Come on, Rambleberry meowed briskly. We don't have long. Rainflower dug her claws into the bark and Shellheart shoved from behind. Panting, the queen hauled herself up until she reached a hollow in the trunk where the low branch jutted out. Rambleberry skirted the trunk, quick as a squirrel, slipping past Shellheart. She glanced at the hollow where the branch met the trunk and nodded. Here will do. Then she blinked at Shellheart. Can you grab some herbs from my den? Shellheart nodded. Uh, I'll try. Uh, be careful! Rainflower gasped. But Shellheart had already leaped down from the branch onto the slippery ground down below and was racing back towards the flooded camp. Rambleberry cleared wet leaves out of the low dip between the branch and trunk. Good, there's plenty of room for you to lie down here. She nosed Rainflower into the hollow and crouched down beside her on the dripping bark. Will he be okay? Rainflower whispered and stared into the darkness where Shellheart had disappeared. He can take care of himself, Rambleberry told her. Her fur was spiked, wet to the skin. She'd been River Clan's medicine cat for fewer than three moons since her mentor Milk for had joined Star Clan. And this was her first time that she'd dealt with an emergency on her own. <sighs> Rainflower shuddered as a fresh wave of pain passed through her belly. <sighs> Rambleberry took a deep breath, blocking out the howling of the wind and the growling of thunder. She laid her forepaws gently on Rainflower's flank as another contraction gripped the queen. Rambleberry scanned the reed bed far below. No sign of Shellheart. Here! She nipped off a twig with her teeth and laid it beside Rainflower's cheek. Bite down on that when the pain comes. Is that all you have? Rainflower hissed. It's all you need, Rambleberry told her. Queens have been kidding since the ancient clans. It's the most natural thing in the world. <sighs> Rainflower groaned and bit down on the stick, her body shuddering. Claws ripped bark as Shellheart scrambled onto the branch. Sorry, he panted. His fur was drenched. I had to swim into your den. I managed to get inside, but all your herbs have been washed away. <sighs> Rambleberry closed her eyes as she thought of how many moons it had taken to build up that supply. But before she could reply, Rainflower hissed and the stick crunched between her teeth. The first kit was coming. Rambleberry leaned down in time to see the kit slither out onto the rough bark. She gave it a lick and then passed the tiny wriggling bundle to its father. Don't let it fall, she warned. Is everything okay? Bright Sky was calling from the bottom of the tree. Water lapped at her paws. The flood had reached the tree. One kit and one more to come, Rambleberry retorted. Shellheart looked down, keeping one forepaw over the squirming kit. 
Did you find Duskwater? No sign of her, Bright Sky replied heavily. Shellheart lashed his tail. Join the others. We're fine. Come back for us when the waters have gone down. The stick Rainflower had been biting on crumbled into splinters as the second kit slid out. Rambleberry caught it in her teeth and placed it by Rainflower's belly. Rainflower reached for it at once, licking it roughly until it mewed. It's a tom! So is this one. Shellheart gently placed the tiny kit beside his litter mate. His voice cracked. They're... they're perfect, he whispered. Rainflower purred as Shellheart rubbed his cheek against hers. I named this one Oak Kit, for the oak that protected us from the flood, she rumbled. And this one, Storm Kit, for the storm that drove us here. Kits born in a storm like this one are destined to be great warriors. He gazed at his queen with pride. It's just a shame that they can't both be the leaders of River Clan. Aw, that was such a cute scene! But yeah, it's true, they can't both be leader. And it's hard enough having their dad as a deputy. Like, what are you supposed to do in that situation? Like, your dad's gonna either become leader and then die for you to become leader, or with brothers. Like, your br if you make your brother your deputy, deputies don't often become the next leader. They go through several deputies in a leader's time period. So if you make your brother your deputy, he's either gonna die or you're gonna die and he then he's gonna be the next one. That's the thing I don't understand quite with, like, Bramble Star making Squirrel fight his deputy because... I mean, it'd be great to see Squirrel Star, but I really doubt that's ever gonna happen. I think Squirrel Fight's gonna die before that happens, which would be really sad, but yeah. <sighs> it's just the thing about making somebody your deputy is somebody has to die. The nice thing about being medicine cats is you can have a full medicine cat, you can have multiple full medicine cats, at least in ThunderClan you can, but <laughs> you become a full medicine cat after you finish all your training. You don't have to wait till your mentor dies to become the full medicine cat. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this speed paint where Brambleberry helped Rainflower bring her kits into the world in a very interesting way where they had to climb a tree to escape the floods. Brambleberry is a really awesome medicine cat, so I hope you guys will tune in for all the days of her week. There will be five in total, so be sure to tune in every day this week to see her speed paints. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's drawing and theory. Make sure to check out the video on the side of our last speed paint. And click that subscribe button and little bell icon so that you can always be notified when we upload so that you can be part of hashtag early clan. Down below in the description will be links to our eBay and Etsy stores where cool merch items are available for purchase. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon for the next speed paint. Bye bye